Hi children, welcome back to school. My name is Elnora and today we're going to be talking about basic furniture in the house that you should know. Let's start with the bedroom, as it's one of the most important rooms and each house has it. Well, looking at the picture, you can see several furniture and they are bed, table, lamp and shelf. It is study table, or you can call it a desk. Do you have a study table in your bedroom? One more piece of furniture that's usually found in the bedroom is mirror. Right, if you have a mirror in your bedroom. I think bedroom can't be a proper room without wardrobe where you should put all your clothes and stuff to keep your bedroom clean and tidy. Let me teach you some kitchen furniture vocabulary. Well, now you can look at the picture and see most important kitchen furniture. What are they? They are dining table, where you may get together with your family after hard working day and communicate while having dinner. It's dining table. The second important thing is chair, where you have a seat. Chair, cupboard, is useful for keeping some kitchen items. Cupboard, how will you able to cook without a stove? Stove, yes, you're right, it's impossible. And of course, we need drawers for some extra objects. Drawers. Yes, there is no house without living room. This room is usually for guests or where people have a rest, watching TV or reading a book. So, as you can see, there is furniture as sofa, coffee table, just simple table, fireplace, an armchair. Well, the difference of coffee table and table is that coffee table is smaller and people do not use it for other options, while table is bigger and people have lunch, read magazine, or you can do your homework. As we have already learned some pieces of furniture, it's time to do some exercises because that's what smart children do. Well, your task is to look at the picture of the bedroom. First, decide whose bedroom is it, a girl's or a boy's. Then describe what pieces of furniture can you see. So, the first thing that we have to mention is that it's a boy's bedroom. Why? Because usually boys choose warm colors. Moreover, as we know, boys don't like extra stuff as stickers, toys, colorful wallpaper, and so on. What pieces of furniture can we find in this picture? First, wardrobe, shelves where he put books, study table with the chair, bed, carpet, and the bed table. Now let's read the text and check our answers if we were correct or not.
Dear mom and dad, how are you? Don't worry about me. Everything is fine with me. Aigul and her parents are nice people. They live in a house. There are three bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and a dining room in the house. I like my bedroom. It's not very big, but it's comfortable. There's a bed, a desk, a wardrobe, a lamp, a bedside table, and a carpet on the floor. Every morning I make my bed. I keep my room tidy. There is a computer on my desk. There are books and copy books, pens and pencils on the shelves. I put my clothes in the wardrobe. There is a lamp on the bedside table. I also put my alarm clock on it. There is a carpet on the floor. All the things are blue. You know, my favorite color is blue. Say hello to Granny and Granddad. Love you all. Bye, David. Okay, here are some statements. Some of them are true and some of them are false. We should mark them as true or false and correct false sentences. But let me give an example first. As you see, it says there are two bedrooms a living room and the kitchen. But this statement is false. There are three bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen and a dining room. guys, let's check our statements. David makes his bed. That's true. David is an untidy boy. That's false. David is a tidy boy. There's a computer on the desk. That's true. There are pens and pencils on the desk too. No, it's false. There are pens and pencils on the shelves. There are clothes in the wardrobe. This statement is true. You have to put is there or are there construction and write two more questions. Well, you must be remembering the construction there is there are. Here we have to make true questions using is there or are there. Is there a desk in your house or flat? You have one minute to complete this exercise.
Okay, let's check your questions together. Is there a wardrobe in your house? Are there any chairs in your house? Is there a bed in your flat? Are there any shelves in your flat? Is there a bookcase in your house? Okay, children, it's high time for watching a video and doing some exercises. House objects and furniture. Living room. Wall. Floor. Window. Curtains. Carpet. Sofa. Cushion. Table. Armchair. Chandelier. Floor lamp. Picture. Television cabinet. Television. Speaker. Remote control. Fireplace. Clock. Bookshelf. Air conditioner. We'll be listening to the definitions describing the piece of furniture in the bedroom and choose the right picture according to the definition. Let's start listening to the definitions. And the first definition is Two people can sleep in it next to each other. Let's check the definition. Which do you think piece of furniture this definition denotes? Yes, you're right. Reading lamp. You can switch me on and off. I provide light. What do you think it is? I am flat and usually attached to the wall. You can put things on me. I am flat and usually attached to the wall. You can put things on me. What is this? Shelf. I am a small table that is kept at the side of a bed. I am a small table that is kept at the side of, the, of a bed. Bedside table. I am a piece of furniture with shelves to put books on. I am a piece of furniture with shelves to put books on. What do you think it is? Bookcase. I'm usually soft and you can find me on your bed. I'm usually soft and you can find me on your bed. What is this? Pillow. I wake you up in the morning. I wake you up in the morning. What do you think it is? Alarm clock. We are two beds attached together, one on top of the other. We are two beds attached together, one on the top of the other. Bunk bed. I'm a piece of furniture with drawers in which you can put your clothes. I'm a piece of furniture with drawers in which you can put your clothes. 
chest of drawers. You can look at your own reflection in me. You can look at your own reflection in me. Mirror. I'm used for covering the floor or for decoration. I'm used for covering the floor or for decoration. What do you think it is? Rug. You can sit on me, but I have no back or arms. You can sit on me, but I have no back or arms. What is this? Stool. I'm a narrow bed for one person to sleep in. Okay, children, let's check the definition. I'm a narrow bed for one person to sleep in. Single bed. I'm a type of table that you can work at, often one with drawers. I'm a type of a table that you can work at, often one with drawers. Desk. I'm a seat with a back, legs and arms. I'm a seat with a back, legs and arms. Chair. I'm a tall cupboard in which you hang your clothes. I'm a tall cupboard in which you hang your clothes. What is this? Wardrobe. Okay, children, you made a great job. I'm glad I have been your teacher for some time. I hope you will be comfortable to talk on piece of furniture and explain them to your friends in English. See you next class. Have a nice day.